Let's read the question. One third of the fishes in a tank are catfish. Two ninth of the fishes are guppies, and the rest are goldfish. There are forty goldfishes in the tank. How many fishes are there in the tank? All right. Let's understand the question. Nah, there are many fishes in the tank. There are catfish. Guppies and goldfish. Now, one third of the fishes are catfish, and two ninth of the fishes are guppies, and therefore the rest are goldfish. Okay, now there are forty goldfish in the tank. So therefore, from here I know that the rest refers to forty. Sorry, okay, forty goldfishes in the tank. So I'm gonna draw the model. First of all, I'm gonna draw the model to show one set of the fishes in the tank are catfish. So I'm going to take my model stencil and draw one third. Okay. Okay. I'm going to divide it into three equal parts. Okay. So one third. So therefore, looking at the denominator is three. Therefore, it's three. Total equal parts. So out of three total equal parts, one part is actually catfish. So therefore, this is my catfish. Okay. Now two ninth of the fishes are guppies. Looking at the fraction, the denominator here is nine. It is no longer three. But my model shows three total equal parts. And therefore, I have to actually divide three equal parts to become nine equal parts now. So in order to do that, what I do is I can actually one equal parts divided into three small equal parts. So that will give me a total of nine equal parts. So I'm going to use my model stencil to help me so that it is equally divided. Okay. Alright, done. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 total equal parts because now the denominator is 9. Okay, so one third of my total number of fishes still remain as catfish. Now, 2 out of 9 total equal parts are guppies. So I'm going to shade 2 out of the total equal parts and indicate as guppies and the rest are goldfish therefore this is the rest which is my goldfish and how many do I know? yes, 40 40 here Okay, so let's see now. Now, how many fishes are there in the tank? So I want to find how many fishes are together. Okay, so therefore, I want to find how many are together. Now, looking at this, I know the, the number of goldfish, which is 40. So from here, I'm able to actually use that information to find one unit. So let's see. How many units do I have for goldfish? Okay. So it's actually one hole minus away 
one third, which is my catfish, minus away two ninth, which is my guppies, and that will give me my goldfish. Okay, so they are different denominators, so I'm going to change them all to nine. Okay, so one whole will be nine out of ninth minus one third. In this case, it will be three ninth. Okay, so three ninth minus away two ninth. So equal to nine minus three minus two. That will give me four ninth now. Okay, if I were to check, I should have four units shown as goldfish in my model drawing. One, two, three, four. Four units here, which is four ninth. Four units out of nine total equal parts. All right, so now I know that four units is actually 40 goldfish. So with that, I can find one unit, which is 40 divided by 4 equal to 10. So now I know one unit is equal to 10. So how many fishes are there in the tank? So I want to find a total. So in this case, the total number of units is 9. So therefore, 9 units is actually 9 times 10, which is equal to 90. So my answer is there are 90 fishes in the tank.